advice looking at the market outside of your bank account? No question about that. And it helped me to identify, too, that the market is, is somewhat random, chaotic, and that if you don't take a large number trade approach to the market and do things kind of the same way every time, that you're going to get beat up by the market. And so mm -hmm. these experiences helped me to refine both my exits, entries, and understand the concept of statistical trading and probabilities. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know what, I'd, I'd like to pull in this blind spot analogy because when we're dealing with blind spots, think back to driving a car. Um, you go into a situation, and this is where coaching becomes very valuable because when you first start out as a beginning driver, you have to take driver's education and you're, you're, you go through a course, do some book learning, get exposed to what to expect, see videos and movies and films or whatever um, on what to expect, what, what being in a car accident can really do to you, those types of things. And so you learn by instruction, okay, you need to look this way, look that way. Here's the technical way to turn the car on, back it up, go forward. Uh, how to protect your blind spots or where to recognize where your blind spots are, how to look th through the windows properly, how to look through the mirror, all those things, right? Um, but there's still blind spots right. that you can't get away with or get away from. And what happens is then you have to go out and do your, your driving uh, test and you have to study with the instructor in the car with you and just go out and hit the road and, and be in the situation. And at that point, there's no room for error. Um, you're going to make a mistake, and it could be pretty devastating. But you're actually thrown into that arena, right? And you, exactly. at that point, then you have to learn by the, co the the coach or the instructor saying, "Okay, now check your blind spots. Okay, no, you didn't do that right. Don't turn yet. Don't signal yet, or don't move, make the chain, lane change. You need to double check. Double check again. Okay, there you did it right. Okay, now you can move forward. But once you recognize where your blind spots are, then it becomes second nature." But then something else happens is that, you know, we, we now become a licensed driver and we're out moving ourselves throughout the community and, and, and driving the streets in our car and we get a little bit lax. Uh, we can, you know, the, the driving mechanics can become very routine and mundane and we may start to slip a little bit on typically the blind spots. We don't necessarily check our blind spots right. And it all goes back to that that same scenario where if you don't check your blind spot, that's the thing that's going to kill you. Because it's not the car that you can see in front of you that's going to cause a problem for you because you can avoid that one. You can see it. It's the one you don't see that happens to be in that blind spot because you didn't check your blind spot properly. And, and that's the same with trading. Sometimes it takes a coach or a mentor, someone outside your head, to observe the situation and say, you know what, I don't think that the system's flawed and I don't think that you're necessarily flawed in your thinking, but maybe your approach needs to be tweaked a little bit. And so let's adjust this a little bit. Let's test that. Let's review. Okay, did that work? Yes or no? Okay, great. It, will move for it did. Let's move forward with that. Now, if it didn't work, then we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and try to find out if that blind spot needs a little bit more tweaking. What do we try? What are we trying to do? And that's where I think the benefit of having a coach and a mentor really comes in play is because it gives you a chance to have someone look at it from outside your head or from the 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 passenger seat, if you will you know, the backseat driving mentality of having someone there to tell you when to turn, what to watch out for. I know it can be annoying when you're driving, but I guarantee you when you have someone doing that as a, in, in a trading arena, it can be the matter between life and death and sanity in a lot of ways because there's a lot of emotion that goes on when you're trying to execute positions in the market and you're not sure where those blind spots are, especially when they creep up and take you out. I really like the car example, and blind spot is exactly the right word for this, Jed. Uh, the one thing that I didn't know is what my blind spot was. If I had known what it was, it wouldn't have been blind to me. And on the other hand, you didn't know what my blind spot was until you started to work with me, mm -hmm. give me these exercises. And so it was unknown to both of us. It was probably unknown 
to everyone. And I think, Jed, honestly, that I probably would have quit trading had I not uncovered these blind spots.